the Birdie 44 headquarters is back up and running. Yes, we got Amelia. Her red nose is back. Her ranger antlers are back. Woo! And the posse, um, Krampus's posse, they are still here because Krampus wants me to look after them for a while this Christmas season. So I'm like, all right, Krampus, I'll do that, but I don't trust them. Okay, so today's video, so many of you guys may think I'm crazy. But so many of you guys may also be like, girl, you know, we're crazy too, so we are on your side, we get you. I know a lot of you guys get me, so whoa, it's awesome. I feel, I feel amazing in this world with you guys around because you get me. <laughs> I am telling you guys a personal ghost, ghost story of mine that just happened the other night. Now, I'm not going to confirm that this is real. This could have been a dream. This could have been a hallucination. To me, I feel like it was real, but there's a part of me too like... You know, was I hallucinating? But it felt very real. So I wanted to share it with you guys because it kind of has to do with Christmas in a way. And since Christmas is this week, it is so crazy. I thought it'd be perfect to share it with you guys. And hopefully, you know, you guys will not think I'm crazy after this, not think I'm insane. And so many of you guys are always like, tell us more creepy paranormal stories of yours, your own personal ones. And unfortunately, I don't have any, you know. The other ones that I told you guys about were the Cardinals. And one with my dad seeing my grandma and when I was a kid I had some really creepy experiences as a child the other night I was physically attacked in my bed from a spider now this spider did not want me to live it was basically trying to kill me and I freaked out and it went to my wall and I threw something at it when it was on the wall and then it fell and I don't know where the heck the spider went where it ran off to but it's still you know running around alive somewhere it is not dead so I was like okay I am not sleeping in my bed tonight because I know when I wake up that thing is gonna be sitting on my face trying to kill me once again I don't know why usually spiders like me they think I think I was a queen spider in a previous life because they run to me like they're dogs or something it is the weirdest thing ever but spiders actually love me but this one right here it did not like me it wanted me dead or maybe just was excited to see me so it ran to me I don't know I don't like spiders at all they terrify me they absolutely terrify me like I scream the way they run oh, I cannot stand it so anyways I was like okay girl I am NOT sleeping in my bed tonight because that thing is gonna be on my face when I wake up I don't know where it went you know when you throw something at it and then it falls or you hit it and then it falls but no that thing was not I did not kill that thing it fell and it ran somewhere and I don't know it's probably like laying its eggs somewhere and <laughs> All these spiders gonna run all oh I don't even want to think about it anyways so I was like okay I need to go to sleep and I'm so tired right now so I need to go to like a happy place so I decided to sleep in front of my Christmas tree because I love Christmas it makes me happy so I was like oh my god I'm gonna be like the girl of the Santa Claus sleeping by the Christmas tree waiting for Santa even though it wasn't Christmas Eve but in my head I was like oh you know and I was like you know what I'm gonna watch some home alone on the couch by the Christmas tree but I decided to watch um, YouTube videos instead and catch up on my subscriptions anyway so I was falling asleep I turned off the Christmas tree lights and, like all the other lights so it was pitch black right so it was about 3 45 in the morning also I want to say too, my dog Daisy she was acting so weird and usually when something paranormal like paranormal will happen she acts really weird like half an hour before something does happen so you know I kind of just calmed her down but she kept looking up at the ceiling like her and Bentley I have two dogs Daisy and Bentley both shit suits Woo -woo! so they were both looking up at the ceiling and being all like oh my god so I was like what the heck is up there is the spider up there like is the whole spider's family up there looking at me are they all gonna come down when I'm sleeping sit on my face and do something weird <sighs> But I was like, okay, you know what? Just go to sleep, Brittany, you know? Okay, so around 3.45 in the morning, I woke up. I believe I woke up. And I saw a woman walk, kind of like float by me. Like, kind of like where my feet were. And she was just walking by in the hallway by the Christmas tree, just walking by or floating by. And she was wearing, a, or not a red dress, a white dress dress so and she was kind of she was very transparent but she walked by in this white dress and I looked at her and I immediately put the covers over my face because I was so scared I was like oh my god like somebody's it's Amelia she came to life or something because you guys know Amelia has this really long white dress so I was thinking it was Amelia and then I was like oh my god no what if it's Bloody Mary you know 
Bloody Mary scares me so much, you guys know that, so I started freaking out thinking, oh my god, because you guys know how I feel about ghost ladies in white dresses. It scares me to death. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I believe that this lady, if it was real, you know, I could have been dreaming, hallucinating, you know, I'm just putting that out there. But if what I saw was real, I believe that it was my grandma or it was an angel. Those or my Nana. But to be honest, ever since my Nana passed, I haven't really, f I mean, she passed when I was 14, so that was a long time ago. So I've never really felt her around me. I mean, I had this really weird dream about her probably two years ago when I saw her, like, okay, a little story time right now. I had a dream about my Nana and I like, the doorbell rang and I ran downstairs to get the door. This is like two years ago. And I opened the door and my Nana and my Papa were there. And they, I knew they were dead in the dream and they were glowing and they looked so healthy and they were just staring at me and smiling at me and I knew that they were dead and I believe that that was a visitation dream of my Nana and my Papa. So that was pretty much all I've ever really experienced from them. So I truly believe that that was either my grandma or an angel. And I don't know why I'm thinking it could have been an angel as well. I don't know, it's just like this weird feeling I have. It was my grandma or an angel. I, I really don't know, but it was definitely one of those two things. And it's weird too, because the last thing I saw before I went to sleep was on top of the Christmas tree, there is an angel. So that was the last thing I saw before I fell asleep. So like, I don't know if it turned into this weird dream that I had. I hallucinated and saw an angel. I don't know, but I keep replaying it in my mind. And you know, sometimes when I'm replaying it, I'm like, yeah, it was my grandma. Then other times I'm like, no, it was an angel. And I just, you know, and then my family keeps saying it. Maybe it's the ghost of Christmas past. Like, <laughs> you know, but that's what I saw. And I was freaked. I was actually freaked out. You know, I was so totally caught off guard. And I was like, well, maybe that was my grandma. And for the whole night, guys, because I was so scared to turn on the lights. I didn't know what I was going to see. I thought I was going to see, like, Amelia staring at me. And oh, if I saw her staring, staring at me, like, oh, my God, I would freak out. Or I thought maybe it was Bloody Mary. I don't know why, because... I never really saw the hair on this woman. I just saw the white dress and she was glowing and it was pitch black. You couldn't see anything. So why would I see a white dress that's glowing and kind of like sparkly and stuff and just walking or floating past me? So it just freaked me out. So I was like hiding under my covers and for the whole night, I felt like somebody was watching me and I was scared because I was like laying this way and I was so scared to turn around and like see somebody like a figure there looking at me being like, just staring at me. It honestly freaked me out so much. But the weird thing is, if this was a dream, then how do I remember laying there being scared and not wanting to look over my shoulder because I thought that somebody was going to be standing there like that lady would be standing in front of me. So that's when I'm like, okay, maybe it wasn't a dream. Maybe I was hallucinating. You know, I was super tired and I was up kind of late and this happened at 3.45 in the morning. Like, you know what I mean? I don't want to confirm it. But I just thought it was a very interesting thing to share with you guys because it could have been an angel, you know, maybe it was my guardian angel. Maybe she was just being like, girl, you know, I'm here for you. Like, you know, mm, I'm watching over you. Like, mm. or maybe it was my grandma being like, girl, you know, you're a ghost hunter. You want to see me like, mm, I'm here. You know, it's like the hour, the spiritual hour, three to four. That's the haunting hour. And my grandma knew that that was dead time <laughs> because I always told her, I was like, dead time, dead time, 3 a.m. is dead time. And so, you know, was that her just coming to say hi to me or trying or maybe she didn't know that I was asleep and she just walked by to kind of see how I was doing. You know, I don't know, but it was definitely my grandma or an angel. So when I woke up that morning, I just kind of, you know, I woke up obviously <laughs> And I just kind of was laying there and replaying what happened and thinking, you know, did that really just happen? Did I see my grandma? Did I see, I never saw her face though, so I can't confirm it was her, but my feeling was it was her or it was an angel. I don't know, but I just think it's weird that the last thing I saw before falling asleep was the angel on top of the Christmas tree. So like I said, did it make some weird dream, like some weird hallucination in front of me? I don't know, but I want to believe it's real and I do believe that you know maybe I should sleep by the Christmas tree tonight and see if it happens again I don't know but I did not feel threatened even though I was so scared I did not feel threatened I felt I mean I wasn't of course I wasn't threatened I just felt like holy there's a woman in a white dress walking around and she's transparent like what the heck is it Amelia is a Bloody Mary I don't know why that would be my first 
thought. <laughs> it's something about seeing a woman in a white dress. I don't know why that freaks me out so much, but those kind of spirits, they freak me out. <laughs> when it's like a full body apparition, someone in a white dress, I don't know why that freaks me out. I have no idea why. But I want to see this figure again. I really do and just look and be like, okay, hey, who are you? Can you come over here and talk to me? And I just want to whip out my camera and hopefully get it on camera for you guys because that would just be amazing. But do you think it was my grandma just visiting me and maybe she didn't know that I was awake or I don't know. Or do you think it was like my guardian angel or something? It's kind of like a Christmassy story. Like I said earlier, because I was by the Christmas tree, my grandma loves Christmas and I thought maybe it was an angel walking by or it was my grandma walking by. Like it is so weird. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm very curious to see what you guys think. <laughs> I think a lot of you guys are going to be like, girl, you were hallucinating. Like, are you on drugs or something? <laughs> But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching once again. All of my links are in the description box below. My Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. Hashtag team, Brittany44. Hashtag Barrett Hey. Hashtag GAC, notice Brittany. And I feel like I want to say something else. Maybe not, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Well, um, you guys rock my world, as you guys know, in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. And I will see you guys in my next video. And also, okay, wait. Yes, I'm going to say Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I will be having a video on Friday because that is Christmas Day. I don't know what that video is going to be yet. I was thinking maybe doing a vlog of Christmas Eve or I don't know. I don't know what that video is going to be yet because I kind of want it to be chill because it's Christmas. I don't really want to say a cre creepy story. I don't know what's going to happen, but something will be on my channel this Friday, obviously. So maybe it'll be a Christmas vlog. I don't know, but I think it'll be kind of fun. So let me know. Do you guys want to see a Christmas vlog of Christmas Eve? I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below because I have my other videos planned out for next week, of course. But for Christmas Day, you know what I mean? I kind of wanted to be chill and just all Christmassy and just happy. And oh, I'm so excited because I'm going to be wearing Amelia's nose, I think, in her antlers that day. So I'm very excited about that. So I hope that she gives me permission to wear her stuff because she's very, you know, like, girl, that's mine. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you guys in Friday's video. Bye.